Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about painting trees. So first I want to show you a couple examples of paintings that I've done that uh, have different style of trees. And lastly I want to finish with an example of an actual painting. I'm going to walk you through how I paint a tree. And then to follow up in the future I'll be uh, uh, having some more videos just to give you an idea of all the different sort of trees you can make because there's everything from palms, evergreens, uh, you know, pines, sycamores, all these okay, uh, so oak trees, everything, you and you can't get it all done in one lesson. So in a uh, here's a good place to start. Hope you so, enjoy. So um, using some heavy bodied acrylics by Liquitex, they work pretty well. And I just throw them in here. Meh. I didn't worry too much about it. I have cadmium red, uh, phthalo blue, and cadmium yellow light. So the first thing I want to do is mix up kind of like a a dark purple just to get my tree in there. So tree is got some branches, comes down, and trees we gotta keep them, we gotta make sure they're not too round, okay? Make sure they're not too round. Trunk here is bigger than up here. Yeah. Kind of zigzag a little bit. And we'll just pull one up right off that way. Maybe a little more. And just a little something here. Gonna outline our path. Okay, here's the tree's shadow. Tree's casting a shadow this way. And a little bit underneath the whole thing, okay? Back here we have a bank in the background, and up front is just some grasses and stuff. So let's fill in some background noise, if you will. I'm just going to put white into this purpley blue mixture and just kind of scrub in some stuff here. Yeah, so they're about like that. Now then, I'm gonna lighten even more with white, get some yellow, and I will have a green color. So this green color, we can put in some of the grasses up front here. I just use the same brush because you know what ends up happening is you get some nice color variation, so. That's why I don't like to switch brushes much. Now I'm going to go back to that green color. And what I want to do is lighten it even a bit more. Get my I have to get my background in here, okay? So let's go here and just put some color back in. These are going to be kind of background bushes and stuff. It doesn't matter. It's not important. It's just background, so we just kind of Scrub it in here. And, you know, we want to kind of balance out here so the trees kind of come this way a bit. So I'm going to just pull this right up here behind it just to add interest. Okay, it's background. I also want some very warm parts to it. So I'm going to put more yellow in. Just a bit of red. More yellow, more red, more yellow, more red. Get a nice green brown color. And then lighten it with the white just a bit. Some of these bushes are just going to be nice and warm colors. And a little here in the grasses. Okay, now since my brush is dirty, what I can do is I can get my pure white and just go right in here to fill this center area in where the light's striking very strongly. Just some sand or something. 
sand, grass, something. And even a little more to the orange side, which means I gotta add red. Not white. There, nice warm colors in there. Contrasting with the tree's cool colors. And then we can finish up with the tree's leaves. Warm color is good in tree leaves, so what we can do is we can take this warm color, but we have to darken it a bit. So I'm going to add back blue and red. And yellow until I get a nice darker green. Okay. So with the leaves, we just want to pick at some of the edges here. Building on what we've already done. And I don't want to cover everything. I want to let some of this uh, color we already put down show through. And I'm kind of using the, the corner of the brush here on some of these strokes to push it off to the side. And then you can bring this down a bit here in front of me. Some of the leaves, you know, they just they kind of fall in front of other stuff. So we just put a little marks here and there. All right, coming together. At the edge of the leaves, you want a light color. So we take our white and we mix it against this. This is the edge here, see? Lighter. Only a bit, only a little bit. Now I want to fill in the rest of this background. So I'm going to, eh, you know, we better take a clean brush, I think. Little white, little blue, only a little bit. That yellow blue is so strong. Pure blue, I don't use it too much, but this is kind of sky color, so we'll just start putting this in. Fill in some holes here and there. Rub it up against the edge. It's good, we want that blurred, soft, dirty edge. That is the secret to the trees. They need this edge. Okay, we've got a lot of our background in. What I want to do is just Wipe off part of this brush here. Take some white and some of that warm color we had from before and put some of this warm color into that sky area to really make it pop. So I'm just going to start it down here. This is uh, essential to uh, my painting techniques, which is to create color contrast which is warm on cool you hear people say color contrast or warm on cool that's what they're talking about is cool colors like blues and purples when you have a similar value which is the lightness or darkness but a different uh, color temperature which is how much blue or red is in it basically you get more interesting paintings
a little bit. See how much we have here? We want to we want to keep that going over here as well. So we just strengthen all around there like that. And then let's clean up this here. Uh, very nice. A little more clean up. It's just background. It's not super, super important. Don't need to spend too much time on it. And now let's finish filling this in up here. Shady area. So I need something that's lighter than this, but darker than the other. So I'm going to stick with my green color that I created. Put some red into it. Let's see what we got. Perfect. And so we're just going to kind of Fill in here. See, all we're doing is filling in. Look how easy. A little bit of stray color makes everything awesome. Yeah, we can even darken up bits and pieces down here. So we're on our way. We are on our way. Let's get the trunk colors going. On the underside of the trunk is warmer reflected light. We need a strong orangey color, red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow. Mix it exactly how you think it should be. And then we're just going to highlight on the bottom here. On the side, not as much as the tree limbs start rising vertically. Maybe just poke around a bit here. Okay. We've got our strong orange color to make the tree stand out. And look, it's darker than the back there. You see that, right? Now then we want to brown it, so we just add a little blue. If it turns green, that means you just got to add some more red. Leaving bits and pieces. So bits and pieces. Here I'm going to leave it dark. Painting is all about bits and pieces. What do you choose to leave alone. And then on the top, you know, we can do a little purple, a little light purple, light purple gray. All right. Got a little heavy there. That's okay. And we'll go back to my brown, just revisit my brown a bit. Let's see what else we can do just to bring in some light on this edge. I just lightened it a bit with the same color. Now at this stage we just make small adjustments where we want to. Yeah, we can even Add some more back up into these leaves here. A little warm color. Very, 
very nice for the leaves. And see, trees are about shapes. We have some space. We we don't connect everything. There's holes. There's bits and pieces. And 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 painting is all about you know bits and pieces, contrast, differences. So these things are good. And we can just mess around, do whatever we want. Now I just kind of pick up paint here and pull the whole thing together because what happens is the colors uh, we take from one spot, move into another, and now it's unified. A little bit of broken color. Don't want my shadow too strong. 